Hello everyone, Cameron here. Uh, so I just received this uh, email from Flickr and when I seen it at first I thought that's got to be a joke but it's actually true. Hi Flickr user, after June the 30th Flickr will remove the option to sign in with a Facebook or Google account. Instead you'll be able to sign in using a Yahoo account. To create your Yahoo account click get started. Well, Flickr right now has about 87 million subscribers and I can guarantee either, if not sooner, by the end of the year that number will drop to below half. They have just shot themselves in the foot, they have cut their nose off, uh, I it's just a suicide uh, it's just like a suicide bomber move. Uh, two of the biggest social media networks out there and they're basically turning around and saying nope, we're not letting you sign in with these, we want you to sign in with our own. And it's just crazy. I mean, if they think that they're going to get increased subscriptions or members to their Yahoo, it's not going to harm. So I have already got three Google accounts, three Gmail accounts. I also have a Hotmail account. That's also, I mean, not in also including, I have two domains, uh, one for my photography and another one, and I've got email addresses for them. And it's like, do you really think, for me as a user for Flickr, after June the 30th, I will never be using the service again because I will not be creating an email account just so that I can log in to a service. Uh, I just won't do it, it's pointless. And I think to turn around and do that is just business suicide. Uh, in a social media age where you can share from Yahoo, eh, sorry, share from YouTube to 20 plus social medias, you can do the same from Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, eh, Reddit, Pinterest, they all allow you to share to all manner of social media. And now Flickr's saying, nope. We want more email subscribers. We only want people in the Yahoo family to access Flickr, which I think might have worked if Flickr had a stronger stance, a stronger uh, family of software or websites, applications like Google. I mean, Google had the blogger and it had the email and it just... Google just kept building and building and building on their services until you had Google Maps and Street View and Gmail and Blogger and then YouTube and until you can't even imagine not having Google. Whereas Flickr just had Flickr and Yahoo and Yahoo just, I don't know what happened to I mean, like Yahoo Search, it just got stale. They just sat there thinking, well, it was Internet Explorer and Yahoo Search and then all of a sudden they didn't see Google Search coming from anywhere and, bef I mean, and also it was last year Flickr, Flickr, it was also last year Flickr had just spent millions and millions redoing their, their whole infrastructure and their whole site which I've got to say looked really really good and now that's for nothing. Uh, there is no way I can see them uh, benefiting from this move. I just can't see it. So let me know down below. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a suicidal move? Is this the death of Flickr? Is Flickr dead in, in, in 10 years? Will it see an 11th? Or maybe do you think this is a really good move by Flickr? Do you think this is going to make them a stronger uh, social media 
platform and f file or fo photo sharing platform, then let me know, know down below and uh, comment and like the video. Uh, if you've got any other questions or ideas on photography or on any of my videos, let me know down below and I'll be getting back to you as soon as I can. Alright guys, thanks very much.